There are three ways to connect the camera. We can use internet cable with PoE. The maximum distance is 100 meter unless we add the PoE extension which can supply up to 800 meter. You can check my last video about how to set up 800 meters power over internet for IP cameras. We also have the fiber optic cable which can cover a couple kilometer network. In this video, we will see the first solution. We are going to use the wireless network bridge to build a point-to-point -point network connectivity. Eventually, we can place the camera at one end and the other end for the MVR. Alright, now let's just take a look at the network bridge. The network bridge usually working in pair. So when we play the master rule to receive the signal, the another will play the slate rule. Both pair from, from a chunk link. You can just consider there's new network link between the from the point A to point B. You also can deploy several network bridge out outside and just send them to the same receiver. But I don't recommend you use this way because it's going to reduce the bandwidth. Also, require the master network bridge to receive the data from different angle, which means it has to have a fixed side for all the slave uh, network bridge. In the hardware, actually, there's no difference between the master or slave. Let's just go to take a look at the connectivity. Actually, there's no difference. It's identical. It's almost it's, it's the same. What we need to do just to change this this switch to change the road. So if we want this one to play the master, then we can turn the this switch to right. If we just turn the this switch to left, it will become the slave. So the first thing we need to do is just make sure one network bridge will play as the slave, the other will play as the mask. We cannot use both as the slave or you both for the mask. The next thing we need to do is we need to pair these two network bridge to form the network link. First, let's just power the camera. I'm oh, sorry, power the network bridge. And we can either use the DC tel voltage or the 24 positive PoE injector to power the network bridge. Just remember, it only takes 24 DC positive PoE. It doesn't work with the IEEE AO2.3 AO PoE, which is supplying DC 48 voltage. At the camera end, we are using the here we are using the battery. So the battery is powering both the camera and the network bridge. So the whole system just off the grid. Uh, if you want, we also can simply just replace this battery using the solar uh, solar panel solar power system. If. All right. Uh, now just we are using the DC tap voltage to demonstrate. This is the DC connectivity. Let's power up. So once we power up, you can see the power indicate LED is turned on. We need to wait for a while for the system to boost up. This is the signal faster fraction, but the system, the whole system still put put it up. All right. Now we can see that there's digit at the back of the network bridge. This is the second thing we need to do. We need to, to make sure both bridge working on the same channel. Now it displays the channel one. And here we have the push button. Once we push, the, the channel will change. We push one, it becomes two, three, Four. All right. As this one is working on channel one, I'm going to change the bridge to the channel one. Nine. Totally ten channel. Now it's channel one. Once we have set both bridge in the same channel, we will see now that this is the inter signal bar. Just become the full. And we will have to, in the practical application, we may need to 
change the shooting direction to have the better connectivity. All right. Now we are going to hand the neighbor bridge to the wall. Basically, the neighbor setup is complete. We only need to do two things. One is to make sure one is the master, the other is playing as the slave. The second thing is we just need to make, make sure they are both, both working in the same channel. And now we can power up the camera and the bridge at the other side. And here we are going to connect the, our NVR to the primary never bridge. All right. Here we can see the two ports. One port we are going to use it with the recorder. And the extra port, we can connect this network bridge to our primary network. So once we connect, we can see the internet LED start flashing, which means it's working with the NVR now. Right now, we need to wait for a few before the both network form the link and we will start seeing the video in our NVR. Right, now the camera is live. That's it. It's quite simple. I understand you may have a one uh, have question. How can I access the network bridge and configure everything? You see, if you don't want, actually don't need. You can complete the setup just by using the deep press, press button and the deep, deep switch. But there's two ways actually you can connect to the you can access the Never Bridge web browser. You can either using the extra RJ45 port or the access point creating by this Never Bridge. The Never Bridge not only form the connection, it also create the Never Access Point, which allow us to use the mobile device or the tablet or computer to access, to configure it. This access point works exactly the same as our home Wi-Fi network. If we, we want, we also can manually hide the network access point in case we, we don't want the other people to see our Wi-Fi network. All right, uh, that's it. Thanks for heading up. Uh, if you have any question, please, please uh, comment below. Have a nice day.